Hi, I'm John the Stutter. Jeff the Jerk here. Hi, Peter. Gary the Retard. To judge, Beetle. We're here to judge who's gonna be in the Wag Pack. This is the Wag Pack jury, Mother Effer. Hi, I'm Vinny Mazio, and I just want to tell you I want to get back on the show. I believe that, you know, I've been around here a long time, going on 20 years being on a Wag Pack. Uh, I've lit myself on fire. You know, I've done a lot of promotions up here with a lot of people. Um, I love Howard. I gave up my marriage to be on the Howard Stern Show, and uh, I just think I deserve to win. Hi, I'm Mel Rose, Larry Green. I've been on the show for 12 years. I'm a very valuable part of the show. I've taped thousands of segments, and I wish you'd really be back on the show. I've been on for 12 years, and I am the West Coast link to the Howard Stern Show. Thank you. Mel Rose, that's Larry why, Green. That's why you think you should be on. Yes, that's pretty much it. Yes, yes. We all, that's it. Came all the way in from L.A. What's up, everybody? It's Shelly Angry Black. I'm here for the Whack Pack Jury. I'm going to tell everybody, Howard, everybody watching back on the show, because you miss me. Everybody miss me. And I got a surprise for Howard and everybody. This is going to show my worth, man. So you better sit tight. Just watch it. Just watch it, man. Feel it, man. Feel it, man. It's Howard, man. And Black is back. Get ready. We've got some excitement for you now that you're absolutely going to love. All right. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, the Whack Pack Jury. <laughs> Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Hi, Good morning. Hi, Howard. Hey, Howard. Hey, Hi, guys. Howard. <laughs> Let me now, tell you what we're what doing would today. this jury be uh, judging? Uh, I'm going to tell you exactly what we have in store for everyone today. I think you're going to like this. There are five people sitting on my couch. They're some of the most famous people from my show. Let me introduce them to you. This is High Pitch Eric. How are you, Eric? Good morning, Howard. How all are right. you? You're a guy who calls in all the time. We always have you on to do wild stunts. I remember the time that Joey Boots shaved you or... No, I shaved Joey Boots' private parts. Right, and uh, didn't he eat a pubic sandwich? <laughs> uh, no, I shaved the pu. I put the pubes on his face. Didn't Elephant Boy put uh, hot green on you or something? No, he painted my balls green. All right, so you see what I'm saying. Everyone loves High Pitch Eric, and they know that he is a member of the show in good standing. Really? Well, he's always on the show. I didn't know he was in good standing, though. He doesn't pay his bills, and he uses the name. Well, he's not in good standing with other people, but with us, he's all right. <laughs> also, you might recognize John the Stutterer from yeah. Philadelphia. How are you, John? Uh, hi. Uh, uh, hi, Howard. Hi, hi, hi John. Even hi, hi as a chill. Yeah, every, he is, has the worst stutter of anybody I've ever met. Uh, 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 we have him on the show all the uh, time. Uh, uh, yeah, I uh, I can't th thank you and enough, Howard, for uh, uh, for uh, 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 allowing me to uh, be here. You are the man, man. After all. You, you, you. All right, all right. Uh, now, also you sitting here. Thank you. Played for the first time in my life. Thank you. At also, 31. sitting here is uh, uh, is Gary the Retard. Everyone loves Gary the yes, Retard. Yes, they do. <laughs> yeah. How are you, pal? I'm pretty good. How are you this morning, Howard? Gary's on the show all the time. Unfortunately, he is Gary can talk. Gary, <laughs> Gary is part of the Whack Pack. We call right. these guys the Whack Pack. Beetlejuice, you are maybe the leader of the Whack Pack, are you yep. not? Yep. I'm you are. You're considered the leader of the Whack Pack, aren't you? Right. That's right. Uh, yep. <laughs> he told me that himself. Get that microphone in front of yeah. him. We don't want to miss right. a word. That's right. I do. Now, Beetle, you're wearing a judge's uniform because you're going to be judging today, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. How, how was your weekend, by the way? Super Bowl my, weekend. Oh, my Super Bowl was pretty good. Did you win money? Huh? At least, at least one four grand. <laughs> yeah. Four grand. Look at you. Nice. What'd you bet you. on? Huh? Oh, I bet it all. <laughs> Put that microphone in front of Beetlejuice's face. I bet it all. That's why. Right. By the way, you're wearing a a, a, a judge's wig. You know, you look a little like little Kim with that. <laughs> well, I look like <laughs> little Kim a little bit. Like, I look like Joe Rutland. That's why. Who? <laughs> I look like Joe Rutland. That's why. Right. Right. All right. <laughs> and uh, sitting next to you on the Whack Pack jury. There's a guy everybody loves. Everybody loves. Jeff the Drunk. How's it going, Howard? How you doing, Jeff? Okay. All right. Have you been drinking this morning? Yeah. How was your Super Bowl weekend? Oh, uh, I had to cut it short. Why? What happened? So I can come here. Oh. Oh. All I right. I had to leave with like a minute and a half left. So you're more responsible than Artie. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're saying? I made it here, bitch. All right. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, the reason I've called the whack pack jury in, I never call the whack pack jury on. These five guys represent the whack pack. The whole whack pack. And they are the Justice League of the whack pack. They're the leaders of the whack pack. Yay! Uh, there are three guys who constantly call my show all the time. Vinnie Mazio Jr., Melrose Larry Green, and Angry Black. All of them have not been appearing for months. They want back on the show. They feel that they've been ignored. They feel... Uh, Melrose Larry Green, I kicked off the show. He's been going on other radio shows. Right, I, right. Melrose got himself kicked out. But I am giving three of these guys a chance right now to go in front of these guys. Each of you have one vote. To determine whether these guys get back on the show? To determine only one of them can get back on the show. Oh. You have to vote. Each guy can come in for a minute, plead his case. So wait a minute, who are the three guys? Vinnie Mazio, yes. Melrose Larry Green, and Angry Black. Wow. Oops. Gary, you know what a vote is? No, I don't. Okay. Oh, dear. <laughs> vote is, <laughs> you're going to decide who should come back on the show. All right. You, you can only pick one. One. Okay. Vinny, Melrose, or Angry Black. I want to come back, Gary. All right. Okay. Now you understand? I understand. What I just say? What's a vote? It's a vote. Who comes back on the show? I That's right. You got it. Got okay. And You're how welcome. many people can you vote for? All one. of them? One. Okay. All right. You got it. <laughs> what about Beetlejuice? Does Beetlejuice understand? Beetlejuice, you know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, yeah. I'm just a judge. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I want to introduce you to Vinny Mazio Jr. He's been on the show many times. We met him the first time. He was on our pay-per-view special where he lit his penis on fire. Yes. And actually cooked an egg on his genitals. He has burned himself many times. He also lit show. a firecracker in his ass. <laughs> Vinny, yes he did. And Vinny is very upset that he has not been on the show in a long time and he thinks he has been really dealt a blow. I thought that he left us because he got married. <laughs> he wants back on. He's the original jackass. All right. Original. He definitely is that. Yeah, here he is, Vinny Maggio wearing a suit to appear before the jury. And he's bald. His head is shaved. <laughs> shaved at night. Is that part of the act? Vinny, tell this jury in one minute why you should be making regular appearances on the show. Okay, and then we're going to get your microphone working and everything's going to be great. Okay. All right. um, I was Hold on, we still don't have a microphone uh, on you. Yeah, we didn't know you were going to speak. In typical Stern show fashion. <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead. No one knows how to work anything. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, um, for one, I love Howard. For two, I've been on a show for nearing 20 years. For three, I had a choice with my ex-wife, either go on a Stern show or get divorced, and I'm divorced. Uh, number four is I've grown up a lot, and you know I've come up with a project, Johnny Postal. I wrote a movie, and things are different for me now. Um, I, Because of Howard, I got the best producer, director in the world, Frank Callow. Just did um, Lionsgate Films Cookout with Danny Glover and Queen Latifah, and my project is next. And, um, I, you know, I love the show. I love Howard. I love everybody All right, the here. jury is and falling asleep. Let's have some follow-up questions. <laughs> High pitch. Ask him one question if you want to, to help you make your decision. Uh, I don't know. Come back to me. All right, let's go to John the Stutterer. Okay, well, let me say that, that, that I actually en en enjoyed... When y when y you were o on the show, um, all right. Time's up, Gary. The retard. Go ahead. What is your question? Well, well thank you. Thank you very much. Go ahead, Gary. I like the guy, but I I just see him on TV quite a bit, but I just don't know what he does. You know. <laughs> well, he just told you what he does. He, yeah. You tell him what you do. No, what do you do? Um, right now I'm I'm producing the shows. I do some physical comedy, and you know. All right, Beetlejuice, will you have a question for this guy? Well, if you do comedy, man, I hope you do it great, man. Thank you, man. I'm trying. All you right. want him to make Thank you laugh, you. Beetlejuice? Oh, try it. All right, give, give him a make joke. Make, give give me a Beetlejuice joke. a joke. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll admit, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed when it comes to jokes. I do physical stuff. If you want me to hop on the floor and do a frog oh, for you, all right, do oh, a frog. Do the frog, right. man. Do something, man. Do the frog, man. <laughs> do that frog, man. All right, here goes Vinny. He's going to do a frog for Beetlejuice. He's trying desperately to get back on the show. There's his frog. Uh, frog right. man. <laughs> All right, good. Oh, that's great. Jesus Christ. All right, that's it enough. It made me laugh. <laughs> that's great. He's going to his head up. Unfortunately, you can't see it. Jeff Carr, do you have a question for Vinny? I sure do. What is Thank it? You. What are you going to do to prove yourself? What are you going to do to prove yourself to the show? To, that you should be on the show. What do you... What, 
What do you show to everybody? I'll do anything for Howard, including run down Madison Avenue naked. Yeah, I don't think they're going to prove that. Mm-hmm. Prove All right. it. All right, that is Vinnie Mazio Jr. Right. He's made his case to the WAC Pack jury. Goodbye, Vinny. Coming in is Melrose Larry Green. I'll give Melrose an opening statement. He's making his case to get on the show more. The winner of this will get on the show more. We'll be reinstated. That's right. Nice. We'll take his calls. Uh, Jeff Currow, the drunk, has absolutely proven himself. Beetlejuice has proven himself. Gary the retard is entertaining. John the stutter is always entertaining. And even High Pitch Eric is entertaining. Melrose, I threw you off the show because I do not think that you have been loyal. If you want back on, you better yes. make your case. I'm not going to vote the WAC Pack jury will. I understand. Will. First of all, good morning to all 20 million listeners all over the country. My name right. is Melrose Larry Green. Good morning, Robin. Good morning, gentlemen of the jury. My name is Melrose Larry Green, and I have brought to you today some documentation of why I should be on the show. First of all, I have right here a couple of graphs I want to show the men in the jury. First of all, you will see on You're the, top, run out of the time. top line is Howard Stern's ratings. On the bottom line is Melrose Larry Green's show appearances. Number of markets before Melrose on the show, three. All right, I don't now. Go ahead, let the guy no, have his show. Let, let him talk. Let him talk. Do you remember all the times I went to all the book signings? Philadelphia, all-nighters, San Francisco, all-nighters. The OJ trial, good morning, murder, a murder, a murder. Remember that? Remember that? Good morning, murder, a murder, murder. Do you remember that Melrose, I stood at the corner of Melrose and Highland for 12 years with Howard Stern signs promoting the show. Yes, I have done other shows, and I'm very, very sorry. I'm very, very sorry. That will never happen again, Howard. You have my word. Now, I'm not even done. This is Exhibit D. This is a little bit of my background. I know I don't have a lot of time. All right, we had enough of that. Let's go to High Pitch All Eric. All right. Ask your question. Yes. All right, Melrose. Yes. If you come back. Yes. Are you sure you're not going to go on any other radio shows? You no promise? No more radio shows. You read my lips. No other radio shows. John Hasn't he oh. said that before? He said it before. Well, John you know what? Uh, You've said that before, and then you lie. Mm -hmm. No, yes. I did not lie. Howard, not. I'm writing a book right now about the Clintons. That's why I went on the other show. My book is called Why the Clintons Belong in Prison. Is it and called Leave My Left? Let's go to um, right. John the Stutterer, who's entitled to ask a question. Um, well, d d despite the fact that, uh, that, that my political... <laughs> <laughs> Those are antithetical. Yes, John to, Stutterer. To Get to your question, to John. John. Larry's. I like. Yes. Larry, and my yes. only only question would be. Okay, Gary, go. That's a question. Man. <laughs> what? I love the show. I love the show. Yeah. Listen, when I'm writing. Listen to his question. I'm sorry. Jump with the gun. Sorry, Howard. Well, Hi, Fred. Um. What? Well, let him talk, what? Fred. <laughs> jo his question is what? What? Yes. Yes. What? 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 My answer is <laughs> Melrose Larry Green made a mistake. I am very sorry. We've all made mistakes in this world. It will never happen again. Let's go to Gary the retard. We've heard I that before. Go ahead, Gary. Grill him. You know what? I don't I don't like certain things you do at the like, house. Like what? I mean, I don't like to make all these signs. You know what? You don't like the signs because no, you can't no, read. No, okay. I can't read. I won't make you any more what? signs, up, Gary. Read? Gary, yeah. I'll make up no more signs. No, don't make no more signs. Okay. If you go to Las Vegas, don't be showing them all over the, all over the TV and stuff. Okay. I mean, Fair I enough. You stick with them. Gary, are you anti-sign? You do not like signs. No, I don't. You do not read and you don't no. like the signs. No, I don't. Because you can't read them. I can't Gary, read them. <laughs> Gary, Melrose just promised you he will not make any more signs. Right. No more signs. No more. All right, Beetlejuice, go ahead. Well, yes, Beetlejuice. I don't mind if you don't make signs, but if you had signs like that, you know what I would do to him? What? I would rip them up. Right. Rip, rip, rip up your Rip it up. Well, I'm sorry, Beetlejuice. We all make mistakes. I, can I still write for Newsmax.com, the website oh, you I write for? Oh, do that. Gary, you Gary do that. the retard, would you prefer he just draw pictures? On draw pictures. Okay. Draw pictures. <laughs> Let's go to Jeff Caro the drunk, who's not going to be that easy. He always has tough questions. Melrose. Go ahead. Talking to the mic. Melrose, honestly, that's the only thing I know you for. Yes, Jeff. Murderer. Murderer, murderer. Good morning, murderer, murderer, That's murderer, murderer, murderer. Good morning, murderer, murderer, murderer. That's all. All right, there so you go. So you're saying he doesn't uh, add much? No, uh, no. Uh, 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 you know, the way, the way that he screwed over Goodness Howard. Howard. Uh huh. Uh, 
I want to trust him as far as I can throw him. All right, there you go. Let's hear from Angry Black now. You've had your say in front of the Whack Pack jury. We'll find out the results in a few minutes. Thank you, gentlemen. All Collect right. your signs and leave. Collect your signs and leave. Right. How was the second? The Whack Pack jury, the toughest jury in the country to go in front of. Everybody knows that. Everybody's going to know. What insane questions. They're ripping apart every candidate. Normally when the Whack Pack no, meets. Just go. Normally when the Whack no Pack. At all. When normally when the whack pack meets, it's in private and secret. <laughs> We're getting to witness. My closed doors, bitch. All right, let's go to Angry Black. Melrose, you must leave. You're losing Melrose, votes. Get out. You're not listening. Again. That's why you're not on the show anymore. You don't listen. Don't pay attention, my friend. That's right. Angry Black, Big you man, have. What's up, baby? You've been loyal to the show, but remind us what you've done and also open up a statement to the whack pack because uh, lately you just haven't been on. You know what? I know. Guys, what's up? Y'all looking good today. You know, Eric, Thank you're you. fat as ever, so it doesn't matter. I, got, I haven't been on the show in a while. I know you guys miss me. I'm still writing. I'm a graduate of Connecticut School of Broadcasting, just like Artie. So when Artie's not here, you can always call me over. I'm going to explain to you why you need me on the show. Okay? Go ahead. I'm going to put it in the simplest form, and you guys want you to vote for me, all right? It's very simple. Howard, I can tackle the black issues that you may not want to touch. Like, for instance, I can tell Al Sharpton that he won't get a tax refund for last year because you have to have a job to get one, nigga. I'll tell him that. I'll tell Star Jones that gravy is not a beverage, and she's still fat even after surgery. You're not afraid to talk to your fellow black people. I'm not afraid. You, yes. I, I, I'm going to tell Jason Williams, even though his mother's white, they're going to show him how much of a nigga he really is when he goes to trial. Oh, my God. Wow. And I'll even tell Debbie Slussell, you know what? You should let Bethel do the makeover. That purple mascara she wears, she looks like a tropical fish with a hangover. I'll cover all that stuff. So you're here to say you're angry and you're not afraid to I'm say stuff on the air. All right. What about Angry planning. Black? High pitch, do you have a question for him? Wait, 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 I, and, there's one, and there's one other thing. Yes. One other thing. Yes. And no matter what, I'll always bring young, wet bitches. Oh, look at this. Ooh, Some hot chicks. Damn. Hey, girl. Oh, listen to Beetle damn damn action. Now, Beetle, you like that, huh? <laughs> yeah. Damn, I got to get a little hey. that. See that? Oh, Who's going to vote for me now? Lose Who's your to top, me? baby. Yeah, look, at look at this. Look at this. <laughs> this American Ooh. pride. Hey, right Angry right Black. See what I brought I for you, Jack? Train. This is what you like? Angry Black, where did you find these beautiful young wet these, bitches? These beautiful young, young ladies are all personal bitches. friends of mine. Right. Uh, now, who's this? Introduce this beautiful lady right here. beautiful lady. Say Hi, Howard. Hi. Lenora, how are you? What's your name? Lenora. Lenora? Yes. How tall are you? 5'10". 5'10". What are you, like a model or uh, something? Uh, I used to. Yeah, you're not bad. What do you do now? Thank you. I'm a bartender. Oh, yeah, you're, you're way Ooh. hot. Where do, you, you. where do you tend bar? Uh, sizzling Steak in Hackensack, New Jersey. Uh, Bobby's a good guy. Bobby girl. runs that place. How'd you got to come Let in here? Let me tell you something, Robin. Uh, a lot of hot chicks are bartenders. Hey, hot yeah. chick number two, where are you from? Hi, my name is Camilla. Oh, yeah. Did you ever bang Angry Black? Sorry? Did you ever bang Angry Black? No. Any of you girls ever bang Angry Black? No, I'm not getting the yeah. deal done. Just, Just friends. Just friends, huh? would love to, though. Oh, yeah. You would love he, to bang him. No, he would love to. Oh, no. I see. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's she knows I love her, but then we're just pals. He's all my friends. Young white bitch number three, where are you from? <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, hot chick. What are you, where, where are you from? <laughs> I love being called hot. She has a young <laughs> night's <laughs> ass, too. Good morning. Um, I live in Astoria. Uh -huh. Doing television hosting. Oh, really? What show are you on? I was yelling my brains out last night for that game. Yeah. Oh, Pat. The Patriots, by the way. <laughs> All right, let's, let's, got you let's let the Whack Pack jury have their say. Time um, for your question. Hi, Pitcher. Do you have a question? Hi, Angry, Angry Black. Yes, sir. If you come on the show more often, you going to bring more girls to Howard? I love you guys. Look at this. Come in, Lenore. Yeah, come on. Come he in. Did you think Angry Black's going to let you guys down? Come on, man. You're going to see more. John, the stutterer, go ahead. What's the matter, John? Spit it out. Well, I, well, I, like, uh, um, well, I like it, uh, angry black a lot, and it's going. All to right, be let's hear from Gary the retard. Uh, go ahead. Uh, hey, Gary, how are you, buddy? Hey, how are you? Look at this. Look, look, Gary. Look, look, I have your face here. Look at this. <laughs> Anytime. Go ahead, Gary. Ask your question. I, just, I, I like you on the show. Thank you. You make Howard funny. All right, let's go. Ah, thank you. Let's I go to Chief Justice Beetlejuice. Go Be ahead. Beat, beat, uh, some well, dog. man got nice girl, but I like to get a hang of that dude. But hey, beat. No, you are a good guy, man. It's a small, it's a, it's a small thing. I'll see you in the green room, buddy. Ooh, oh, by know, the way, you know I'm the best, man. Irish John Mull here sends his regards. He's saying hello. You got to that, buddy. And my you buddy Manny Perez Jr. That's too. That's right. All right, that's now. right, my man. You. Come here, look at my girls. Come, Jeff, uh, Jeff, 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 the girl. Jeff, you see got a this? Do the right thing. Oh, do the right thing, man. It seems like Angry Black knew how to get to this jury with the chicks. You can never go wrong with hot chicks. Let's go to let's go to a man who isn't influenced easily. Jeff, the drunk Caro. Do the right thing. Does a n nothing to do with the girls. Go ahead. Yes. 
I'm picking you, Angry Black. Yeah, don't don't tell your vote yet. Nope, nope, nope. We just want to know if you have a question yeah, for him. I have a question. Ask okay. okay. Angry Black? Yes, bro. Yeah, I heard when you know when you were talking about all that stuff about I'm gonna ask these black people that black yeah, yeah. people that. I'm not afraid of you. You didn't say question. nothing about OJ Figgin Simpson. Uh, hey, <laughs> everybody know OJ murdered that white woman and that other white guy. We we know that. That's he, he's a murderer. He all killed. right, there's the That's answers. I'm gonna thank you, Angry uh, Black, and right. the three beautiful girls. Thank okay. you. Well, and now I'm right. gonna ask you to step out of the room while the jury deliberates. <laughs> yeah. All right. I called together the Whack Pack jury for one reason. Vinny Mazio, Melrose Larry Green, and Angry Black want back on the show. There's only room for one more person. Who's it going to be? Jeff, you've already tipped your hat and yes. said who? Angry Black, but it's not for the reasons, not because he brought those women in. Why is it? Because... What, what did any of those other two ever do? <laughs> really? Well, Melrose used to uh, play a lot of tape on the air. I know, yeah. and he used yeah. to pick it and everything. But he did stuff against the show. He went to other shows. All right. Uh, Jeff Caro says Angry Black. You that's know. your vote. All right, let's go to Gary. The Re I'm going to hold off on Gary the Retard because he could be a big deciding vote. Yeah. Let's go to John the Stutterer. Well, uh, uh, I'm not going to see any of those women in a... That's right. Sexual way. A billion years, Howard. Right. Um... The key to this show is humor and making people laugh. And of those three, while I like every one of them, <laughs> the one, <laughs> the one, <laughs> the one, the one, the one, Go ahead. Mean, the one that makes me laugh Aff. the most, <laughs> the most, by far, is 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 Vinny Mazio, and wow. I think oh. that he would make the audience laugh, laugh. the most too. Vinny Mazio, right. one vote. Uh, Angry Black, one, one vote. vote. I'm gonna go to Beetlejuice now. Beetle, who do you choose? Well, I choose the right guy because he did the right thing. Which know? is the right guy? Well, Angry Black, he did the right thing. Ah. But he did he did the right thing, but he did what he has to do. He's, he makes his toys. All Angry right. Black brought Angry in the Black. bitches. Well, he brought the bitches, but, you know. He brought, saying, in, he brought in the young, wet bitches. Right. And right. that's what you responded to. Well, well I don't respond to it, but I'm just saying it's like. That's the only one you it's remember. It's the is causing, but, you know. Right. You don't you want get Melrose? If you have to get busted. You don't want Melrose Larry Green? Well, Larry Green is all right. But yeah. And what about Vinny Mazio? Well, Vinny Mazio, he does the act. You so know? who are you voting for? No, I'm not voting for nobody. I'm just saying. Well, you have to vote. <laughs> you know, they have to vote on their own. Did you want, do you know. want Melrose Larry Green? Well, Larry Green is all right, but it don't make a difference. So who do you vote for? Uh, I don't know. Both Come for on. a lot of guys. You, you got to vote for the one of them. They all right, so. All right, I'm going to give you a choice. I'm going to give you a choice. Angry Black, Vinny Mazio, or Melrose? Oh, you can say the different Melrose or whatever you All right, so Melrose is your vote? Angry Black. You're what? voting for Melrose. I said or Angry Black. Are you voting for Melrose? Uh, I don't think so. No. Uh, what about Vinny? Well, probably Vinny. Okay, you're, you're voting vote for, for Vinny. What about Angry Black, though? What about oh, Angry Black? Black is not that different. But that's just all in common, man. So you want Vinny Mazio? Well, he's good at it with the girls, yeah. Don't make <laughs> oh, no. Angry God. Black. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you well, voting for, Beetle? It don't make Who a difference. As long, long as you get laid, it don't make a difference. That's what he said. You'll see him in the green room. Hey, hey, he's, 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 he's in the green room, but hey, he's still going to make a choice out of it, but he's still making love. Right? Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Huh? Beetlejuice. Beetle is having a, a dis private discussion with Jeff Carroll. Let's <laughs> okay, listen in. All right. You know what I mean? Well, it's still make it like it. You know what I mean? Just pick Angry Black, goddammit. Well, you pick him, well, we pick him. So that's what you want, we pick him. All right, so you choose who? Well, we just pick. You got to choose black. one, Beetle. One. We want to choose one said guy. It. Which guy? Angry Black. That's Angry Black. All right. Are right, you good. being influenced by Jeff, or is that what you really want? Did you want Vinny Mazio? Oh, Vinny Mazio. <laughs> <laughs> good, good one. I think you should one. pick that's Melrose. It. That's it. That's it. That's all the one. That's I think it. Melrose. You want Melrose? It's up to you. Beetle, you it. want Melrose? Melrose. 
That's it. That's it. Okay. So Mel he votes for Melrose. Vote. You want Melrose? I'll pick the guy. Yeah. Okay. That's it. All right. He picks Melrose. <laughs> So you got one vote Vinny, one vote Angry oh. Black, and one vote Melrose. All right. I didn't know where he was going to go with that. Yeah. <laughs> so Are like you sure you want Melrose? Spin. I'm sure. That's your vote. I think That's Angry sure. Black. Why are you voting for Melrose? Why, you voting? Why do you want Melrose? I don't know. All right. What about... Uh, <laughs> Come on. What Wait. about... What about... Uh, what about Angry Black? What about Angry Black? Well, Angry Black, I don't... Hey, cool. well, well, he's all right. He's, well, a, he's a good guy. Like, you know. All right. Okay. So it's Melrose. You're voting for Melrose. You're voting for Melrose. Uh, I have to make a choice, right? Yeah. Yes. So that's what I got to do. I got to make a choice. What's so your choice? Well, my choice, he's a, he's a good guy with the girl, so I, I make my choice. Black. Well, but name well, your choice. You got to tell us his name. Yeah. Angry Black. Black. I made my Black. choice. I thought it was Melrose. Well, I don't know about that, but. What about Vinny? I'm trying to think about I don't know. All right. So it's Angry Black. Is that right? I'm right. It's not Vinny. No. Is it Melrose Larry Green, your buddy? I think so. You do. All right. You want Melrose Larry Green? <laughs> You're voting yeah, for I Melrose. Think so, yeah. You think so? I'll make up my mind, yeah. All right. You don't want Angry Black? No. Nah. All right. You All want right. Melrose? Melrose it is. I want That's Angry right. Black. Okay. He wants Melrose. Melrose it is. So right. what's the voting now? Let's, let's, okay. We got one vote Vinny, one vote Angry Black, and one vote Melrose. All right. Uh, let's go to Gary the Retard, who seems to be clear on what he wants. I want Angry Black. Why what? do you want Angry Black? Because I think he's because I think he's really good on the show, and I've seen his boxing and everything else with Stuttering John, and I really like him. All right. And that's those girls like the women he bought him to take care. So that we don't have one him. Two votes Angry, <laughs> one vote Vinny, and one vote Melrose. All comes down to one man, Mr. High Pitch Eric. Well, I like Angry Black. Yes. I liked his political statements he made. He bought the bitches, hoes, and slots in this morning, and Angry Black has my vote. All right, well, then it's Angry Black is clearly the winner. Let's uh, bring wow. all three people in. You've just witnessed what goes on behind the scenes in of the Whack Pack Jury. Meetings. Five gentlemen <laughs> who all are reigning members of the Whack Pack have voted Angry Black into the Whack Pack. He's back. He's back, and Melrose and Vinny are out. Here comes Angry to accept. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Angry, ready? make a statement. I reluctantly accept. Thank you, guys. Reluctantly. As you know. Why well, reluctantly? I'm reluctant. I'm just being a jerk. I'm just glad I won. Thank you, John. All right. Melrose. Melrose with me, as always. Angry, to, uh, let's uh, stop talking for one second to talk to the losers. Melrose, Larry Green, you came in here. You tried. I am a loser, and I am I'm very sorry that I lost. Congratulations to Angry Black. You, yeah, the you're best no longer man on the did show. Win. I'm the sorry. The best man did win. You I'd love to sit in on the news sometime. No, Thank you. you won't. Well, you're I'm off sorry. the show. I'll never do any other shows show. ever again. I'm sorry. I'm Ang a good loser. Thank Angry Black. Said, let's do the news. Thank you, the room. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. You'll Thank do you your news in the room. Thank you for me. Thank you. Vinny Maggio, I like you. You've always been great for the show. You always come on. You give it your best, and I thought you were going to take it. It looked like you got a vote there, but uh, I'm sorry. Life's a bitch. <laughs> it really is. You did your best, but Angry Black was too strong. Bringing in the bitches, I think, helped. You can never yeah. go wrong with it. Young, he went the extra bitches. mile. Young, wet bitches. Morning. Well, oh, there's something else I wanted to show you, Howard. Yes. Real quick, since I got the young wet bitches here, could you, could you give her a kiss, bitches. please? Kiss for the guys. Give them, give them a kiss. A little peck, a little peck, like give you gave a, pack. a little peck. Please. All right, there's some lesbianism. Well, that's uh, not. Oh, right. oh, that's I like oh. That. You like we want to see that. We, we want to see that. <laughs> we want to see that Beetlejuice. Oh, that's <laughs> a, you just touched on something, Howard. I haven't seen you. In a, oh, I wanted to say thank you. Uh, oh, forgive me. Happy birthday. Believe Thank you, brother. Did you appreciate the gift that I got you? Yes, I did. And I heard you talking about it this morning. KC got you one also. Yes. You, you, it's George Foreman Grill is the best. I got you the big one. Thank you, brother. You and I used it. And I really do man. appreciate that. And welcome man. back to the show. Thank you. The Whack Pack Jury says you're the man. I, yes. I appreciate it, guys. I love That's you. That's right. Now, you one other thing man. you just touched on, will I be sitting in for the news or no? Not today, but you will be in the future. I love you. You're All my right, friend. You're my pal. That's it. There's no appeals. All right. Sorry, Melrose. What? No appeals court. No appeals court. That's it. Not like the American. To wait until system. next year. I only year. wish that the American <laughs> justice <laughs> system worked like the Howard Stern the show. Room. I'm fine. You know what? No, thank thank you. you. It's been great. Artie's wah, great. Wah, 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 Can I say hi to Kimberly and Artie? All right, there you. you go. Hey, let's give a couple of plugs first of all. Jeff Caro, are you appearing anywhere? You got anything coming up? What do you got? Next week. Oh, no. Yeah, next week I'm going to be up to Boston for two days. Where are you going to be? Up to Boston. To Boston. Yeah. You, you got an appearance or you're? Yeah, it's at the Miracle East with um, Bob Levy, 
Casey, and I don't know who else. All right. Gary the Retard, where can we see you? Come to Oregon. <laughs> come see you in Oregon. <laughs> come, just come yeah. to your house. <laughs> no, just come. You guys, just you, next time you guys make a trip to come to Oregon. All right. All you have to do is call Carrie up on and come down and pick you up in the new Hummer. John the Stutter, are you peering anywhere? Can people get a hold of you? What, what's going on with you? No, I, I'll just be appearing in my Rittenhouse Square apartment, <laughs> charming my one-eyed snake on... Holy spits. <laughs> Venom. Nice. All right. Hi, Pitch Are you appearing anywhere? Oh, uh, yes. I am doing comedy now all over the place. <laughs> I have my Artie Lion mask. I do impressions. All right. Uh, I will be at uh, Bottoms Up every Thursday night in Astoria. All right. I work at Toyota in Manhattan. All right. And uh, I want to show with my friend Kevin at the Rack Sports Lab in the Bridge. Gary Bridge. the Retard will be seeing you in Oregon. How do you spell that, by the way? Oh, I. Oh, I. Oh, uh, Oregon. All right, oh, Oregon. Oregon. And Beetlejuice, <laughs> uh, I understand you're at jollydwarf.com. Is that correct? That's right. Let's take a couple of quick phone calls. I don't know if it's taking off his clothes. Get those what guys out doing? of here. Let's go to King of All Blacks. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Melrose, put your sh shirt back on. What's <laughs> yeah, the matter with you? Black. Let's oh, put your clothes back on, My guns are kosher, You scared man. the women, Shane. Shane. No, All right. It's, it's, re it's, it's, it's getting out of control in here. There's a lot to talk about this morning. Beetlejuice we have a lot of had the best line. He said, you're scared. <laughs> What'd you say, Beat? Yeah. I'm sorry, what was that? Scared the women. <laughs> scared the women. The women's just getting out now. Look at them. They're scared of you now. They're scared of them out of here. All right, let's go to King of All Blacks. King, go ahead. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? I want to tell Angry Blacks. Now, now that you in the whack pack, don't call every day trying to get on. Let them call you. That's the beauty. That's the way to do it. Yeah, begging that's it. And every day begging and all of You're absolutely kind of right. Advice for Let's go to Chris. Chris, go ahead. You know, I have to object to this jury, as I know for a fact that Beetlejuice has had some formal legal training. He was my classmate in Harvard Law School. We graduated in 1983. Did you go to Harvard Law School, Beetlejuice? That's right. And when did you graduate? 1936. Dude. <laughs> all right, there you go. I must have been confused. I apologize. <laughs> right. Uh, go ahead to uh, Jerry. Jerry, go ahead. Yes, Jerry. Jerry's gone. Speak up, bitch. Oh, Howard. Can't yes. Curse, man. Uh, I'm sorry, my name's Vinny. <laughs> Listen, what mm -hmm. happened to Crackhead Bob? Crackhead Bob doesn't do the show anymore. He resigned from the wax. He gave up the coveted spot on that couch, which is crazy. He could have been he here still, today. Is he still alive? Yeah. He's yeah. alive, but he's trying to... Quote, Spunky unquote, crack. pull his life together. Oh, forget that. <laughs> As he said to me the last time I saw him, he said, boom, da, ding, ding, do that, do that, ding. And I said, okay, pal, that's what you want to say. You do it. <laughs> Okie uh, dokie, bitch. He's like a, who has to change their name to Bob because they can't pronounce their real name has more trouble than going on your show, I think. You bet. Uh, he's like Johnny Carson. He walked away from the show, just gave it yeah. all up. Hasn't been back. That's right. I think he's a ballerina now. I'm not sure. <laughs> Boys, it's an Well, you made your decision. You made your decision. I respect all of you. You are all members of the WAC Pack in good standing. And yeah. the jury has spoken. Angry Black is back in with you guys. Melrose still out. Vinny Mazio is out. The jury has Sorry, spoken. Sorry, Melrose. Howard. Sorry, Vinny. Sorry, Melrose. Yes, John. We five are the finest that the human race has to offer. <laughs> I agree. And we always have fun with you too, Howard, no matter where we go. When I'm just Las Vegas, we always have fun there. You bet. You, we go, I want to go back again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, Pete? You got it. Right. It's down low. Oh, right. Exactly. There you go this time. All right. You've heard from the WAC Pack jury. Angry Blake won, and I think he should have won. Cause he, he's the only figure one who makes any freaking sense around here. I voted for Angry Black because of the hose. That did it for you. That did it for me. It really did. What about you, John? Uh, well, while I like uh, all, 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 all three of them, I voted for <laughs> Vinny. Because as I stated in in there, the key to the show 
is 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 humor and uh, uh, uh of the three the one that makes me personally laugh the <coughs> most is Vinny so I voted for him Gary, why'd you vote Frankie Black? Because I liked what he did on the show, and he did a good job, and I thought he did really good, and I liked what the girls he brought in today. What, what did he do? Because I liked what he did on the show. Beetle, you voted for Melrose. Right. He did not win. No, he did not. Are you upset that you voted for him and he lost? Oh, well, he lost, he lost. He made his choice. You know what I mean? But, but you chose him. No, I didn't choose him. He chose himself. I think you did. He chose it. I think he, you did choose he, him. No, nah, he chose it. He chose it on his own. Are you happy for Angry Black? Well, I'm not. Ha I'm. I'm. I'm on. I don't want to say Angry Black is a good guy. So you are happy. I'm happy for the guy. I'm happy for the guy. That's all. I guess my statistical analyses I learned at Cornell and Brandeis did not pay off. I guess young wet bitches are winning over statistical analysis. <laughs> However, I congratulate Angry Black and all the young wet bitches. Yeah. Thank you, Mel. Thank Rose, you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Very great. Thank you. Very great. Yeah, and Vinny, right. congratulations. Yeah, I didn't win. I'm not upset. It's getting old. Um, you know, I've been on a show a long time. I'm more into the producing and the directing rather than the whack. Take a look at the panel. Um, I'm not one of them. I'm one of me. Tell me what happened. Went in there, showed my writing skills. I'm a funny guy, graduate Connecticut School Broadcasting. And you always play the ace card. Young, wet bitches. Congratulations, man. You're back on the show. Thank you. Yeah. You'll be seeing more of me. Look at this. Oh, beautiful white women. I know it's making people jealous, black guy with beautiful white women. But that's how it is, man. I keep it good. Keep it good. You, you think it's the girls that did it for you? I, no, I think it was 80% the girls, 20% of my right. And I'm a fair man. I'm smart. I keep it real. I knew you can never go wrong with young, wet bitches.